I'm like I'm sending you a question in a chat box. Okay. Can I see it? Console two plus two. Console log of two plus two. Okay. So uh, the output will be twenty two as uh, it will be a concatenation. The string it will get concatenated. So yeah, twenty uh, two will be the answer. Output. Okay, okay, that's correct. Okay, so okay, so what will be the output for this one? Just a second. Console log of two minus. Okay, so this uh, what it will do? It, it it will implicitly convert the string to the number. So it will happen to and the string of two. It will be converted into number. And two minus two, it will be zero. It will give output as zero. Okay. Okay. So, so do you know about what is scope in JavaScript? So scope means the uh, uh, like the visibility or the availability of the variables is referred is uh, known as scope. So, uh, for example, like local scope or global scope. So these are the types of scopes are there in JavaScript. Okay, so what is the difference between the double equals and triple equals operator? So difference between double equal to and triple equal to is double equal to it is used to check the value uh, like uh, both are having the same value or, and triple equal to it is used to check both are having the same value as well as data type. So this is the main difference between double equal to and triple equal to. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. So, have you heard about NaN property? Uh, yes. Uh, it's uh, like what it will do. It will represent like it will represent that the value that has been there that is not a valid number. So, uh, it stands for not a number. Okay. So, when we uh, when do we face NaN? Uh, when we face nn is like suppose if we want to multiply 6 with the string then uh, and if we console log it then it will uh, return not a number so at uh, those kind of situations it will return this is one of the example of uh, like uh, we can face not a number uh, okay so you do you know what is curry so function curring what it does it will transform the function with multiple arguments and it will transform into a series of function and each function will have single argument so that is a function curring what it helps it helps in avoiding the uh, avoiding of passing multiple uh, same variables multiple times so uh, that is the use of function curring Okay, so okay, let's. Uh, so okay, one more question. Uh, what are the new features uh, uh, introduced in ESX? Like, can you name some of the new features? Uh, so ESX features it has spread operator, rest parameters, promises, destructuring assignments, or uh, template literals, uh, let and const uh, keywords. Uh, arrow functions. So these are the few uh, new features in ES6. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay. Okay. So let's move to React questions. Uh, what is React? Like, uh, can you like define it? So React JS is a. Uh, it is a JS library. It is used to build user interfaces with the help of components. So mainly it is used for front-end development. Uh, yes. So what is like virtual DOM? A uh, virtual DOM, it is the copy of the real DOM. So what it have, uh, what uh, has processing faster as compared to real DOM. Why? Because uh, suppose there are certain number of lines of codes are there. And uh, 
and in a single line of code there is a change so what it will do it will only re-render only that line of code instead of each and uh, rendering each and every line of code so it it makes the processing faster okay nice okay so okay so do you know like uh, uh, what is the difference between class components and functional components so uh, class component what it does is it requires us to extend from react dot component and creates a render function whereas the functional component it is a plain js function it accepts the prop as an argument and returns a element uh, then the class component it has built in feature uh, for states and life cycle methods whereas uh, so uh, in functional components we use uh, for state we use use state hook for uh, life cycle method we use use effect so uh, we use hooks for uh, these features whereas it has built in uh, features in uh, glass components so these are the uh, main difference between uh, class and functional components okay okay so okay you mentioned hooks so can you name some of the hooks that uh, you are familiar with uh use state use effect use callback use mem use ref and use reducer okay okay uh, so okay i'm sending you one more question in the chat yeah so can you say it okay yes i'm yeah. seeing it okay so can you tell me what is the difference between three use effects to this three use effects so the first one it will uh, runs on every render the second one it will run on only f the first render whereas the third one with the dependency data it will run on the first render as well as any time data dependency changes uh there will be uh, like it will run so uh, what it will happen it will run on the first render and when the data dependency change it will run, run at that time as well okay okay nice okay so uh, can you uh, uh, can you tell what why we use use memo and use callback so use memo uh, returns a memoized value whereas use callback it returns a memoized function, a callback function. So what happens? Both are used for optimizing re-rendering. So uh, it will reduce the number of like where the number of times will get reduced that the component needs to be get re-rendered. So that was the that is the main purpose. Use callback and use memo is used. Okay. So, uh, do, uh, can you tell me the general flow of Redux? Like, what are the main components and uh, like the uh, what are the uh, flow of data in Redux? Uh, the main components in Redux are uh, like action, store, and reducer. Uh, the flow of Redux uh, it will happen at the component level in the starting. So, uh, it will happen when when the user interacts with the application. Uh, so what it will happen is action creator what it will do it will dispatch the action so and then what action will do it will uh, send the data from the application to the redux store then uh, what reducer will do reducer uh, it will update the state of the application in response to action and store it will store the uh, all the data of the application within the redux store so, uh, what are higher order functions? Higher, uh, higher order functions are the functions which takes the another function as an argument. That function is known as higher order functions. Okay, nice. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, can you tell me how let and const variables are different than bar variables? Let and const, they are the block scope, whereas var variables, they are global scope. That is one of the main difference between uh, var, let and const. So yeah, that is the main difference. Whereas uh, 
const variables its value cannot be changed whereas for the let we can't redeclare whereas for the var variables we can update the value as well as we can redeclare it so there are the few differences between var let and const okay okay nice so uh, do you know about what is hosting hosting allows us to move all the declarations at top of the scope so that is nothing but an hosting or also what we can say that we, uh, it allows us to use variables or functions before they have been declared okay 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 so okay so i'm giving you one question yeah. in the chat box yeah uh, you can start you can start any id that you are familiar with and okay fine fine sure yeah. oh, can you see the questions mm -hmm. array okay just a second okay array is there 1 2 8 okay so 1 2 so eight, uh, basically eight. the input uh, the input array you can see uh, there are uh, like one double times and two, two is also there twice and uh, it is also there twice so you just have to uh, uh, you just have to keep the numbers which are more than one and you can discard the other ones okay, okay. you just have to remove the duplicates from there yeah okay yeah like store them in a different type Yeah, no problem. So I'm just uh, giving you one more question. Uh, you can try to solve that. Okay. Uh, suppose you have an input string like this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And your output should be your output should be like this. Okay. So what we are doing here, like uh, if you can see in the input string. Uh, after every uh, before every capital uh, capital letter we are adding a, a space okay like you okay. can see before name yes before uh, n and before i before j okay but remember you don't have to add before m okay because it is the starting okay okay yeah okay Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I was able to. Uh. Like. Uh, you can just gu uh, guide me. So you can just guide me or like what uh, what was your approach? Uh, so here, what I am doing is uh, there is a G flag which has been used to match all the capital letters. Later, we are passing uh amp uh, like space and dollar amp percent like it it is uh, we are passing in the second argument to add a space before every match as a capital letter so what it will happen it will t uh, see that if any capital letter happens then there will be a space and then it will put 
a capital letter. Okay, okay, that's nice. So I'm done from my side. Do you have any questions?